Greetings, friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman, and this is Biz Kaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, where we show you an advertising specimen. You determine whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly, not from an aesthetics point of view, but from a marketing effectiveness point of view, before I reveal to you whether it is good, bad, or ugly, coming from <clears throat> the marketing wizard himself. All right, today I want to show you something extra special. This is an ad that came in the mail to me from Lifetime Fitness. And just take a look at this. Look at the thickness of it all. I'm going to show, kind of fan it for you. Look at all the pages there are in that. And if you open it up, you're going to see that they are not a lot of copy on those pages. Lots of groovy imagery, of course. And uh, I get something like this from Lifetime about twice a year. Now, uh, take a look at the size of it. This is bigger than a magazine. This is kind of like a European size magazine. And as you can see, it's full color. It's a self mailer, comes direct mailed to the masses in a given area. I suspect because of the nature of um, Lifetime Fitness, the, the facility itself, that they target upper end neighborhoods only, of course. Nevertheless, that is quite a piece. The question for you is, is it good, bad, or ugly? Take a look at the spreads that we're going to show you over the next few seconds so you can um, uh, examine it more closely. Stop the video if you want and take as much time to look at it as you want. And then decide whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly and I'll come back and give you my thoughts. So what did you say? Good, bad, or ugly? Look, hard to say it's ugly, right? I mean, look at it. I mean, it's the paper is thick. It's varnished. It is about as expensive of a piece as you could possibly produce. Now, Lifetime Fitness is a very classy outfit. In fact, I call it the Church of Lifetime Fitness because their followers are there 24-7 for crying out loud. It is just really a cool place to go and work out. The question is not whether it's ugly, because it clearly isn't, and it must work because they keep sending out these substantive pieces, not always the same ones, they're different ones every time. But the real question is, could they accomplish as much, much less expensively? And my answer is, I think they could. For example, instead of the European size, they could cut it down to a standard eight and a half by 11. Do they really need roughly 24 pages to tell these stories with so little copy on them? Or could they still provide very nice images with enough copy to be convincing and do it less expensively? The challenge is that they haven't tested this against a less expensive option. So, while there's no way I can say it's ugly, I can't go all the way to good either. I hesitate to say it's bad. Let's give this one a good minus. That's the good, bad, and ugly for this week. Love to hear your reaction, the specific uh, comments and thoughts that you had about this particular specimen in advertising. But file away the insights. How the, the goal is to get a maximum return for the minimum investment. And if you can do that, You'll be well on your way to getting more customers who will pay you more money, more often, acquired the least expensive ways possible in your quest to build your enterprise. That's what we have for you today on Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads from Biz Kaboom. Please leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends all about us, and look for our next contribution to your world of marketing coming up in about a week.